Hey my dear Taurus, what's up with you all? Thank you so much for tuning back to my channel. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. For any cross watchers, do remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel. You never know next time I may be catching up with your energies. If you are a subscriber already, again, do not forget to like, share, subscribe um, and leave me a comment down below. You never know next time I may be catching up with your energies too. Do remember time is fluid. Energies are interchangeable. If it is not resonating with any of you or at all with you uh, do not lose heart check out your sun moon rising venus and jupiter signs as well so this is for my dear taurus without a further ado let's see what is it that your person is feeling and thinking towards this part towards you and towards this particular connection what are the current thoughts and feelings The first card that came out is Three of Cups and the Magician. I see that your person is manifesting a catch-up. They want to reunite with you. If it's a reconciliation that, uh, you know, if you were already in a connection, they are hoping for a reconciliation. If not, then they are waiting uh, and they are manifesting a catch-up. They want to see you. They want to party with, uh, they want to party uh, with you. They want to be, uh, they want to be able to connect with you. I see that they are manifesting really hard to be in a connection with you with the temperance they are having a very balanced approach but at the same point of time you know they are healing they are having balanced approach they are trying to keep patience at the same point of time manifesting a reunion a reconciliation or a catch-up to see you face to face but the tower is also telling me that uh, you know, uh, there is a no contact period right now going on or a minimal conversation which is there between you and them, right? So, uh, I think this is a deliberate uh, uh, silent uh, silent period that you guys have taken from each other because five of wands tells me that there has been some amount of conflict which was involved. Can be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini. Cancer can also be seen. I think recently you guys have been in in a in some sort of a situation wherein you got into a fight. Two of Swords tells me that your person is very indecisive when it comes to this particular connection. They really don't know what really needs to be done. What is it? What is the action that you are going to take or they should be taking? Again, Two of Wheels and Two of Swords tells me that they are juggling to make a decision. In order for them to even get over with this connection, they are not sure whether they have to stay, move on, keep expecting uh, to meet you or something of that sort. But Knight of Weeds tells me that your person definitely thinks that they have to be really slow and patient because you are going to take a lot of time to come forward towards them or they are going to take a lot of time uh, in order to get to uh, from two of wheels nine of wheels to ten of wheels because i see somewhere down the line this person is expecting proposal this person is expecting marriage a happy married life um, a strong stability in their life with you they see you as somebody they can have a life with they see you as somebody they can settle down with right with seven of wands um, probably you or your person is pushing the other person one person in this particular connection pushing the other person away may have even blocked and now uh, the other person is overthinking about this particular connection whether it is even worth it whether i will get a marriage commitment in this connection whether i will get stability in this connection is this person the one i should be waiting for or not the high priestess yet again telling me that your person may be taking some psychic consultation uh, uh some guidance watching tarot videos online but this person is highly intuitive and spiritual that you're dealing with and they are kind of very uh you know they are like somebody who uh, have has a sixth sense and can sense what is coming next with the lovers and ace of wheels i see that you know they are expecting that you know they are definitely in love with you there is a lot of attraction uh chemistry between your connection and they are looking forward for stability a commitment to come in with you uh with four of pentacles i see that they are not sharing what exactly they are feeling to, uh, towards you they are keeping it within themselves they are not telling you however with eight of wands i see that there is a lot of back and forth communication if not that then 
probably it is a long distance relationship because of travel also there can be a distance one of you can be traveling both of you can be traveling or making uh, any travel plans in near future but because of travel as well there can be a distance that could have been created otherwise it can be a long distance relationship however there's a lot of clarity and communication that your person wants with respect to this particular connection so that in the future they know where they stand they don't want to get their heart broken okay taurus so there is some amount of clarity that your person is looking forward whether this connection is to be or not to be is the question in their mind meanwhile they are looking for it they uh with the nine of pentacles tells me that this person is definitely uh you know focusing on their career on their money on the finances with nine of cups this person can be somebody who is emotionally quite codependent on you and now they have they do have options they do have choices but they are very confused as to what they need to do about this particular connection should they be staying or should they be moving on the moon card yet again tells me that your person is uh you know uh, they have gone through a lot of emotional turmoil probably in this connection in the past or probably otherwise as well from their past failed relationships and they have a lot of fears and anxiety issues as well it seems with ace of wands it tells me that they are looking for a new passionate beginning in this particular connection but they are not able to make a choice or a decision the world card yet again tells me that they want um, a, a certain cycle in this uh, in their life or in this connection to end to come to a fruition so that you know they can come forward towards you you can come forward towards them and probably if you are giving them a cold shoulder or whatsoever you know that 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 can be stopped and probably there is something related to travel as well that i see on the cards but somebody in this connection had a fight uh, was uh, came out to be a little aggressive and now they uh, the other person is giving the other person a cold shoulder with six of swords i also see that somebody is trying to move on and but at the same point of time they don't know whether they should they should not so looking at the horizon thinking about moving on but at the same point of time staying in this connection you guys are mirroring each other because queen of swords and king of swords uh, i've received both so you guys are divine counterpart mirroring each other uh, they want to stay as friends in your life if not anything else uh because there is a in and out i see that either you or your person has been quite hot and cold in and out and probably they see you as somebody who is quite egoistic quite dominant with nine of cups it also tells me that you know they want you to come forward with a proposal uh but they're also scared what if you abandon them if you don't come forward and they have been expecting you to come forward uh they want uh, you to choose them they want you to come forward they they want uh, the destiny to turn around and uh, in their favor and and a new relationship uh they are looking forward for but they are not aware what is going to happen in the future so they are feeling very directionless looking for a signal from your end so that they get some sort of clarity taurus all right so i'm going to uh, see you tomorrow bye bye